Hello. So I said that I lost respect of the fractal. That was from um, the point of view that the fractal is alive. Uh, I have assumed it to be alive because I understand that things that are based on the fractal is alive. But um, as it seems, maybe it is not alive, the fractal. And it's uh, merely a mirror. It's a mirror, right? And um, I had this great idea that it is alive. And that things are alive in a way that... Uh, that that is not um, known, right? I, I could say that the banana meme is alive. I can say that the monkey meme is alive. I can say that all these things are alive. They have a will of their own. And maybe they have, okay? But maybe the ultimate fractal out there, which is Detroit... Um, maybe it's not alive, okay? And um, it makes me want to talk a bit about Islam for some reason. And I don't really want to do it, but let's do it a bit, okay? So in, in, in uh, Arabic, there's a word for God. And I don't remember that word, of course, but uh, the same word also means machine. Okay. So this fractal could be some kind of machine. There's all there are also these poems in in uh, in uh, Sufi Islam, Sufi Islamic poems describing this um, this mirror which is also a representation of the lord or whatever okay again mirrors and there's more i don't want to talk about it but there is more about about this thing okay and uh, maybe i just have to accept that the fractal is not alive. I was actually ready to to respect something, to respect a living being, okay, trying to communicate from somewhere else. But as it is, I can't do that, okay? Because if it's alive, it is mocking me, and I cannot respect that. That's just how it is. It's for any any living being. It gets too much. Okay. And when it's too much, when it's too much of a mirror, then if it's something on the other side of that mirror, it's definitely mocking you. If you go across, across a glass and you have someone on the other side doing exactly what you do, uh, then if you if you find yourself in, in a in a not so not not so pleasant pleasant situation in, in that situation you cannot you can no longer uh, yeah you basically feel uh, very uh, how do you say this is this is definitely not respect and it's um, it makes me think that the fractal wouldn't do that to me if it was if it was alive because i do have this relationship to it i do think that i can see it in a way that most people don't and i think that's a valuable thing but so i find myself in this situation unpleasant one and there is a mirror going on there is a mirror of reality going on i don't want to talk about it but there is so, 
all I can do is to um, assume it assume it to be dead. To me, to me, this is a proof that that uh, the mirror is dead. Okay, it's not alive. It's a machine, a machine that can be taken use of. What's what? What is it there for? Otherwise. So, all of a sudden, I do find myself looking at this enormous machine of Detroit or the fractal of reality, and I see it as something that somehow just became less than me. Okay, and that's after the the bad feelings of this situation. Okay. Um, some kind of proof. I'm standing in front of a mirror. Just like that Sufi poem. Uh, but I, I, I don't think that it's. it's um, I don't think that it's uh, God. Okay, I do have a definition for God that is something else. So I'm not entirely. I'm not entirely uh, in agreement with that also if if it would be if this wouldn't have happened i wouldn't have agreed with it all the way okay i'm just informing you of the situation um i'm thinking i'm thinking a lot about this and uh, what more let me talk about something else okay uh, something else um, regarding, let's talk about economics, completely different. You can turn this off if you're uninterested. I think that, I think there will be continued problem with this debt ceiling. I think there are, I think it's almost uh, fits good to a script. We have a current script going on with um, Chinese government not paying out some of the salaries to the health workers so there are so previously it was only the private sector that didn't didn't pay out salaries there were with these long um, uh, walks of people going from the companies walking back because they were not allowed to get ride home it was obscene, as I understand, looking at the news. But now it's also in in the in the public sector. They are not they are not paying out out the the salaries in in, in the pub, public sector. In some some of it, okay. So combine this. This means basically in China. It means that. In my opinion, it means that the currency of China is getting stronger when people are not getting paid. In my opinion, okay? So, a country, a currency which is not the world currency, which is the US dollar, is getting stronger. Then we have because they 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 are trying to keep the money how do you say the chinese government is how it looks to me just by these simple actions of of refusing to pay salaries they prefer to keep some kind of bookkeeping in china right now okay uh, and you can compare this to also saudi arabia which just um, told that they will uh, accept uh, accept payment of oil in um, in all currencies or in, in not only in dollars. So um, the Saudi Arabian um, real real what is it called real. Something like that. The currency, uh, Saudi Real, it is 
it has been pegged to the US dollar for since like long back. It doesn't doesn't move from it. It it it's going to lose this peg. It's not no longer going to be pegged to the dollar. This will again make something else stronger than the dollar. So what what should the US dollar do? What should US do? Well, they can't really raise the debt ceiling. Why? Because since since uh, Biden became president in uh, January 2021, the debt has gone up 31% from like 21,000, from um, 21 uh, billion or trillion, I mean, 21 trillion to 31.4 trillion. That's an increase. An increase of, um, or uh, yeah, it's 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 a uh, it's like fifty percent increase in two years, and uh, yeah, that's a lot. So combine this at the same time as there are high interest rates. Maybe they maybe they think that they can't increase interest rates more. Because if they make more loans, like what's going to happen? Um, are they going to lose their currency status of AAA or A++ rating? Um, there are many currencies that are bad rated that needs to, that, that would prefer to have better rating. Okay. And it's just a definition. The US dollar is defined to have a big rating, even though they have this huge trade deficit. Okay, it doesn't make sense, but that's how it is. So it's not fair. And there's like, there's like, um, um, there are currencies representing a population of like half a billion people of the world. And those half a billion people with currencies, they, they um, have top rated currencies. And that's like, uh, that's just a few percent of the total population of the world, like 8 billion or what it is. So in some way, those, uh, those um, half a billion people are a bit parasitic on the rest of the world with their unfairly high grading of the currencies. Okay, so what can what can US do? US don't want to lose their reserve, their uh, currency status. So they can instead go into this state of of uh, extraordinary measures. Similar to 2011, as they say on the news. And what happened then? They started selling um, uh, pension funds to pay for things. And they call it bookkeeping. Okay. Okay. And they have mentioned 2011 a lot, and I guess that's what's going to happen. The same kind of extraordinary measures of selling. Uh, uh, yeah, I already heard that they would not pay out a pension, some pensions, and uh, they would halt the payments of that, and uh, I guess move that money to other places, right? Um, okay. Um, yeah, so there's been this huge raising of the debt for the last two years in US. It increased 50%. Basically, if you had, if you had, um, two dollars, 
in your pocket and you waited two years it's like um, it's like uh, uh, yeah how do I explain this how do I explain this guys <laughs> okay talking and counting at the same time I guess it doesn't work okay but you know what I mean right uh, so yeah from 21 uh, billion to 31.4 or uh, 21 trillion to 31.4 uh, trillion that's pi you see pi 31.4 pi um, in two years amazing and now it's high rates high rates okay that's all guys some talk bye